Yeah. Adventure Kiteboarding here with the Nobile Flying Carpet for 2013 and the XGR Extended Range Boards. The reason I want to compare these two is to give you an idea of when you need to get the light wind board and when you might want an extended range high performance twin tip. So if I tell you the differences, hopefully that will give you a good idea. This is a ginormous rectangle. It is 160 by 46. Just a big rectangular board, very flat, very little rocker, a little bit of double concave through the middle, flattens out the tips, but overall designed really for light wind. A little thicker rail here, so you're not going to get as good an upwind grip here, but realistically when it's light wind, you're going to be riding the board pretty flat and using the fins to get upwind. There's still good flex, so you can still pop. It's not, you know, light wind drudgery. This should still be exciting, but, it, you know, honestly, it takes a lot to, to flip around a 160 centimeter board. The XTR is basically the Nobile NHP in a slightly larger package. 140 by 46 width. So the extra width will actually give you more surface area than just putting on length. So if you add two centimeters to width and you do the math, you'll get more surface area than if you just put two centimeters of length on a board. So what you get here though is a 140 by 46 and compared to 160, just dwarfed by the flying carpet. But what you get here is you still get a nice double concave through here, flattens out, but you get uh, 3D shaping on the top, you get the step downs for the wood, so what you get here, some stiff tips right to the very end where they're going to flex and give you some resistance to spray in the face. But you're also going to get a stiffer board overall, so for a more advanced rider, you're going to get better pop out of this board. And you get the cutout to see the whole carbon stringers in the wood through the bottom of the board. So this is the more expensive of the two boards, but it's going to be better for somebody who's still looking to really boost, go big air, really ride aggressively, where this is truly a light wind board. Um, again, all top quality built in Europe, nice European factory. The wood cores are kept climate controlled right up until they're built. There's no, you know, oops, we left the door open and a bunch of Southeast Asian humidity came in the door and ruined your wood cores. One gets off, you know, get too much humidity in it and it gets noodly floppy. These are consistent from board to board. You know what you're going to get every time. So if you're interested, give us a call or send us an email, adventurekiteboarding.com.